Hello friends, welcome to the course on structural analysis and in this section we will learn what is structural analysis and why we need to do the structural analysis. Before moving into the course, the first thing that we need to understand is what is structural analysis. So what is structural analysis? So what actually is this thing? Uh, let us say that you want to build a post. So you want to build a vertical post uh, so that you can rest or you can put a spare, let's say a football the sized sphere you know it's a heavy sphere not just a football so football sized sphere on the top of this post uh, maybe for the decorative purpose so now you know how big you want this sphere and you know the weight of this sphere now you have to determine the size of this post and let us say that you want this post of a concrete so this is a concrete post Okay, so this is the section so if I just cut this section over here so uh, this is the section of this post so what happens is that if your post is very small so let's say that you make a small thin post just like this okay uh, let's say it's a, a 5 centimeter by 5 centimeter post a very small post right so the post will uh, look like this okay so it will look like this and you want to put a ball over here so if this section so this section over here uh, that is this section is very small in that case what will happen is that if this sphere is quite big let's say that the weight of this sphere is around 300 kilonewton in that case this small size post will not be able to sustain the load of this sphere and it will collapse okay so you cannot use a small sized section of the post what if you use the big size post let's say that the post is now uh, 50 cm by 50 cm so now the post is quite big like this right and now you can simply put the sphere on the top of this the sphere is quite small as compared to the section or let's say the surface of this post and it will easily take the load of this sphere though this post can easily hold this sphere in position but constructing this sphere is quite uneconomical uneconomical means that it will be more costly to build this post as a person who is spending money on building something you don't want the economical sections and also you don't want small sections that will collapse when the load is exerted on those structures so as an engineer what now you need to do is that so what you now need to do is that you need to find the exact size of this post so you have to find the exact size so let's say that uh, this height is fixed okay let's say it's like four meter height and you can only change the length this length let's say this is length and this breadth of this post right so you cannot change other things so now you have to find the length of this post and you have to find the breadth the exact breadth that will be just sufficient to take this load this 300 kilonewton load of sphere so you cannot make small section because it will collapse you cannot make big section means that you cannot have higher values of l and b because it will be uneconomical so you need to have those values of l and b which will just be sufficient to take this sphere this process of finding the exact size of length and breadth is known as structural design hold on it is not known as the structural analysis it is known as the structural design so why i am talking about structural design because structural design is related to structural analysis and we do structural analysis in order to do the structural design so now where does the structural analysis comes into play okay so in order to find the exact size of this post that is exact length and the exact breadth 
as an engineer what you have to do is that you have to assume that when this spare is placed on the top of this post that is this 300 kN load is applied on the top of the post in that situation what will be the internal load that will that will exert in this post so we know that according to Newton's third law of motion so whenever there is certain force on a body okay the body will exert the reaction values so you have to find the reaction values are that is generated in this body so in this post you can say that now let's suppose that you found this r value so you know this 300 kilonewton value right so you know the external load now using the principles of stocks analysis you found this r value now you now you have to find the size so that will take this r value so you have to find this section you have to find the length you have to find the breadth that will be able to take this load okay so there are certain principles certain procedures which you can use in order to check whether or not your section which means that whether or not the values of l and b will be able to take this reaction values the reaction force value will be able to endure this reaction value okay so this reaction force r is known as the internal force internal force and you can see that this uh, the load of this sphere is the external force and this reaction force is the internal force the process of finding out this internal force r is known as structural analysis so structural analysis is the process of the process of determining internal reaction so it's not the force sorry it's the reaction internal reaction of a structure let's say of a structural member is known as so is known as structural analysis okay so it's determined not it's determining determining internal reaction of a structural member is known as structural analysis so why we need to do the structural analysis so i have already said that earlier we need to do the structural analysis because based on this structural analysis so based on this reaction value we will find the length and we'll find the breadth or you can say we will, we will find the section that will take that load and this process is known as the structural design so as an engineer our ultimate goal is never the structural analysis our ultimate goal is the structural design in this course we will learn how to do the structural analysis and we will not learn how to do the structural design so this course will be specifically uh, concerned with the structural analysis 